I'd like to talk just for a couple of minutes about Amazon's small and light program. Now what this is, it's a special program that can lower your FBA fees. So it can help you to increase your profits or if you are just breaking even, this can put you in profit. Now with the small and light program though, before we go any further, I want to make clear that at the time of making this video, it is only available on amazon.com and amazon.co.uk. Now, as well as having a lower FBA fees, there are other advantages to the small and light program. For the customer, there is no minimum transaction before they qualify for free shipping. And this can increase sales for you. Also, if you have a product in the small and light program, it will never end up getting placed into the add-on program. For anyone who's not sure what the add-on program is, this is where you have small, low-cost products, usually selling at under $10. And for Amazon, because they make so little whenever a sale is made on a product that's being sold as cheaply as that, very often they will make that product an add-on product, meaning that a customer cannot buy it alone. They need to buy it along with other products, which is a disadvantage for the seller because if a customer cannot buy your product on its own, it does mean that you will get less sales. But with small and light, so if you have your product enrolled in the small and light program, even if you sell it for under $10, there is no chance that it will ever get put into the add-on program. Okay, so let's take a look at the requirements. Well, on Amazon.com, to be eligible, a product needs to weigh 15 ounces or less. Dimensions need to be equal to or less than 16 by 9 by 4 inches. And the price needs to be $15 or under. On Amazon.co.uk, the product needs to weigh 250 grams or less, and that is actually less than nine ounces. Dimensions need to be equal to or less than 30 by 22.4 by 2.4 centimeters, and it needs to be priced under nine pounds. So what we can see here, or what it looks like at the moment, is that it's much more generous on Amazon.com than it is on Amazon.co.uk. The upper weight limit is lower, the dimensions are not as generous and nor is the price. At this time, the exchange rate, $15 equals about $11.30 or £11.40 pounds sterling. But if we take a look at an example, so this would be on Amazon.com, first of all. And this is an example of a product that weighs 9 ounces and it measures 16 by 9 by 4 or less. The order handling is a dollar, the pick and pack fee is 75 cents, and in this case, the weight handling will be 99 cents because it's 11 cents per ounce. Now, please note that right now, these are the figures, and Amazon fees change all the time. Okay, so be sure to check this for yourself. Now, that makes the small and light fee 274. Your regular FBA fee would be 319. Now on amazon.co.uk, an example of a product that weighs the same, so 250 grams is just under nine ounces, and measures 30 by 22.4 by 2.4 centimeters or less. The small and light fee in this case is 80 pence, Whereas the regular FBA fee for this size and weight of a product would be 162, which is a more significant saving because the fee is in fact half of what it would normally be. Okay, now the upper limit selling prices in the small and light program are lower than the recommended selling prices that I speak about in the main part of the course, so in the earlier lessons. But these are the parameters for the small and light program and it is possible that you could still make this work. To benefit from the small and light program, 
You need to be an FBA seller, obviously, because it is an FBA program, but your product needs to have sold at least 25 units in the past 90 days. Now, that doesn't mean to say that you need to have been selling for 90 days. It's just that you need to have sold 25 units of that product within the past 90 days. Even if you've only been selling for two weeks, if you've sold 25 units, then it qualifies. But if you've had a product listed for more than 90 days and it hasn't sold 25 units, then that product would not qualify. Now that means that you cannot enroll a brand new listing into the Small and Light program. But what it does mean is that you could potentially be looking at products, maybe even for the future, perhaps not for your very first listing, but maybe once you have a little bit of experience, potentially looking at products that would possibly not make enough profit with the regular FBA fees, but would make you a profit with the small and light program. A couple of other requirements, some restrictions do apply. There are a few products that are not allowed to be placed or enrolled into the small and light program, but really these are products that are not normally allowed to be sold through FBA anyway. The prep requirements are a little different, but in fact, these prep requirements are quite simple. So there's nothing complicated about it. What I've done is I've provided a PDF handout to go with this lecture and I've put all the relevant URLs on that handout. Now, some of those URLs do require you to be logged in to your Seller Central account before you can access them. And that's going to give you more detail about things like the prep requirements. So you're going to be able to see exactly what you need to do to prep your products for small and light. And you're going to be able to see the steps there for enrolling your product in the small and light program. Now, once again, this is a little bit more advanced. If you are looking at this lesson, but you haven't studied the rest of the course and you're not yet familiar with the, the process of selling on Amazon, and if you haven't at least made yourself familiar with Seller Central and the terminology, etc., this is going to be a little bit over your head at the moment. And that's why I've put this lecture into the advanced section of the course.